Welcome back to another great RC Works video. Today we're making a PVC hand pump and we're going to show you all the steps to get this done. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started building the pump. First, we're going to go over what equipment you're going to need. So we've got here, uh, we're going to build a two inch uh, pump today. Of course, you can build this in a variety of sizes because there's tons of different sizes out there, but two inch seems like what we're going to build today. So we've got a two inch length of pipe here and the, the length isn't so critical as the length of your handle and we'll get to that uh, here in just a few minutes. Uh, so we've got a PVC T, this is a one inch T, a one inch coupling, uh, a two inch cap, a two inch female adapter, so it's got threads on one side and it's glued or socketed fitting on the other, a two by one inch bushing, and we have uh, a, two of these one inch male adapters, a one inch cap, and then just a short piece of one inch pipe I cut off of there. We're gonna use that in just a minute. A couple of fender washers, nice fat fender washers. These are leather cups. These are probably something that's not the easiest thing in the world to find, but they're not terribly difficult to find if you know where to look. And they're also really inexpensive and durable. Uh, there is another thing that you can use in place of this that we'll talk about when we get to that step. And uh, finally, just a, a little uh, bolt here with a uh, nylon uh, lock on it. So that way you can keep things from coming apart. So let's get started putting this thing together. So the first thing I'm gonna do for you is I'm just gonna lay the parts together so we know what goes with what. So this, we've got our handle. We're gonna just kind of dry fit everything so we're happy with it before we start getting the glue out. So that's the handle. This is the top part of the handle that you hold on to. Uh, you wanna cut this nipple to just the right length that this is gonna butt up flush when you, when you push them all the way together. Now I'm not gonna push it all the way together because um, once it seats all the way in there, it's gonna kinda hard to get that little nipple out of there. So uh, just be wary of that. But you can feel, you can feel how deep it is going in there. And so, like I said, it's hard to get out of there. But so anyways, um, it's out, we're gonna dry fit it. So that's dry fitted there. The uh, male adapter, that's going to go right on the bottom of the handle, just like that. And then this goes on here. And what we're going to have to do here is drill a hole in the bottom of this cap so that uh, we can run our bolt through and secure our, uh, our suction device onto the bottom there. So we'll have to do that here in just a minute. Now on to the main body of the pump. So our female adapter, of course, goes on one end. Our coupling goes on the other end. Then this is what I call the nozzle adapter. So you've got a bushing in here that threads in. You can easily take this out. It makes this pump a little bit more serviceable. And then we've got this fitting here, which is the discharge. Come on, get in there. So this is the discharge. And this is nice because this these uh, male adapters are pretty inexpensive and it gives you the opportunity to put a variety of different nozzle ends on here. You could do a high pressure nozzle end, you could do a longer nozzle end if you're trying to get more suction out of it. Uh, so there's a lot of different options with this and maybe we'll play with a few different nozzles just to kind of show you some ideas. Um, so let's first, now that we've got everything assembled, we'll uh, take and we got to drill a hole in the top of this cap so that our handle can slide up and down through it. And then we've got to drill a hole in this cap for our bolt, so we'll do that now. All right, you want to just try to get as close to the center as you can, but it's not critical. Helps if you put the drill bit in tight enough. Come on, come on, Betsy. There we go. There we go. All right. Now we can do the next hole. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're just gonna use the razor knife and kind of clean these edges up. No reason to cut your finger or something on these sharp edges while you're trying to have fun with your hand pump. So, just clean these up real nice. And if you wanted to, you could even run some sandpaper in there. But again, that's not critical. The nice thing about building these pumps is there's a lot of different ways you can do it, a lot of different tools you can use and usually it's going to turn out and work just fine. Okay, so now, so we've got our holes drilled, looks good. So what we need to do is get our 
suction assembly put together. So we take a fender washer and put it in each one of our cups, just like that. The first cup faces down. Oh, and then the second cup faces this direction, or up. And then we'll put that nut on there. And then we'll tighten that down. All right, so just a reminder, this is the one inch threaded cap that we're using now. And now we're just gonna tighten this down. We've got the fender washers in there. And you wanna make this good and tight because you don't want, ooh, that was the heater again. You don't want the, uh, the cups to move all over heck. So just good and hand tight so that you don't have a lot of wiggle room there. All right, so now it's time to get the glue out. So we've got uh, our weld-on primer and our weld-on uh, PVC cement. And we're using a clear PVC cement today because I think it leaves a nice clean finish. So we're gonna get to go, uh, get to putting together our handle first. And uh, so we'll start there. So we'll take our fittings apart. We'll put a paper towel down so we don't make too much of a mess here while we're having fun with the PVC glue or cement. All right, so this is what the handle portion is gonna look like. Now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could do another nipple and another coupling here if you wanted a handle on both sides. But I like to keep mine nice and lightweight, so using as few parts as possible is gonna save me money, and it also makes it easier to backpack around if I plan on using it somewhere remote. So the next step, uh, before we start assembling the uh, plunger side, is we wanna make sure that we slide this two inch uh, cap on first because you're not going to be able to get it on otherwise. So now we'll get to gluing. Alright, so now we've got that glued on. The uh, plunger just simply threads on just like so. Super easy. Boom, there we go. Now we're ready to start assembling the pump body. We've got the entire handle completed. So we've got our female adapter and bushing. I'm going to take that bushing out before I glue because I don't want any glue to uh, spill over into these threads and lock it on so I can't get it off. So now we can put the bushing back in place. Then we can throw our nozzle adapter on there. Now obviously we don't have a nozzle right now, so we can build a couple of those here in just a minute. But other than that, our pump is complete. The uh, handle simply slides in, and then this cap you don't actually glue because you want the ability to take this apart anytime you have to service it or, or anything like that. So that's not super critical. So obviously the way that this is gonna work is just like so. Now, when you're using these leather cups, these have to actually kind of be shaped a little bit. Um, so the best thing to do, got a little primer on there, best thing to do is uh, soak them in water for probably about five minutes before you use them. Um, that way they get nice and soft and saturated and they create a nice tight seal. So we're gonna go ahead and put together a couple of nozzles and um, we'll show you what this pump can do. Oh, we're also gonna let this soak while we do that. All right, so here we are, we've got our hand pump done. I talked about making a couple of different nozzles and I went ahead and did that. So I made one smaller nozzle with a, a, a PVC male adapter, a short piece of pipe, and then a cap, and I drilled a hole, a small hole in the cap. So the idea with this nozzle, this is gonna be a higher pressure nozzle capable of greater distances and a more controlled rate of flow. And then I made another nozzle, I call this the dredge head, uh, because it has a, a bolt that runs through the PVC here so that it can prevent any large objects from getting sucked up into the pump. And the nice thing about that is that's gonna help um, 
keep solids out of the pump if you're using it to drain something uh, like a sump or, or a sewage basin or some other activity where you're gonna have sediment and solids. So let's go ahead and see how these two nozzles work. Didn't work so hot. Not bad. Well, so we can see the high pressure nozzle wasn't the best. I think that part of it is the hole that I drilled. Um, so it's not getting a, a ton of distance. So we're gonna go ahead and try the other nozzle. I like that nozzle a lot better. All right guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed uh, our rendition of how to make a hand pump or PVC hand pump. Um, I, it's definitely obvious that we've got a few changes to make, some improvements to make, and we're definitely gonna make those, but I would like to hear from you guys. So leave uh, any comments you have about the design of the pump or components that we used in the comments section below. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. We do post videos every Tuesday and Friday, so always uh, got something fresh for you. And we're also planning, uh, you know, we had so much fun making this PVC pump that we're planning on uh, building a few more things out of PVC, maybe some different ver varieties of pumps and some different stuff there. So if you have any thoughts on that or anything in particular you'd like to see, leave that in the comments below. So uh, that's everything we got for you today. Thanks for joining us and have a good one.